There are four aerospace covert facilities, this is what we call the aerospace connection, in the Antelope Valley and also the San Joaquin Valley. Rockwell in the San Joaquin, Lockheed, McDonnell Douglas, and Northrop in the Antelope Valleys. And these operations are extremely suspicious. They have a surface cover activity. They call themselves RCS testing sites. That stands for radar cross-section. And apparently their presumed purpose is to test various aeroform designs atop pylons with radar cross-section. And the disturbing part is that we have found out with incontrovertible proof that there are extensive underground facilities. And for example, Northrop, we have documented to have 42 levels underground. Now, if this is radar cross-section testing, which is above ground, why do they need 42 levels underground? Also, at the Lockheed facility out in Hellendale, we had an investigative reporter who saw a blueprint of the building plans for that facility that he wasn't supposed to see. It showed that they had an extensive underground facility 300 feet down. And when this in reporter interviewed the person who was in charge of that facility, they had a nice, pleasant interview until at the end, he told the director that he was aware of this extensive underground facility. And what could he tell him about that? And immediately, the man's eyes grew wide, and he said, this interview is terminated. So it's very suspicious. <clears throat> And then, of course, we have other reports of people in the area who say that they have seen alien craft emanating from these facilities and terminating at these facilities. And other kinds of blue beams, strange lights in the sky, surveillance orbs, size of basketballs, medicine balls that survey the area and move in ways that we don't possess that kind of technology. In terms of the Northrop facility, which is also known as the Ant Hill, the construction, the underground facility was greatly enlarged in the early 80s. And what took place there was an enlargement, I understand, from 13 levels underground to 42 levels underground. And we have reports from construction workers who actually worked on the site, cement truck drivers, and at one point, Michael, cement trucks suddenly appeared on the scene five miles long, pouring concrete continuously 24 hours a day, seven days a week for weeks. And we figure at three yards of concrete, excuse me, nine yards of concrete per truck, close to a million yards of concrete must have been poured underground. Also, we understand from the construction workers that three silos were constructed there, three underground silos, and we were bringing out the fact that saucers have been seen to just come screaming out of the facility as if they had had some travel distance underground. And, and yet, and also craft would, like helicopters, would come into the facility and just disappear into the ground. So we knew from construction reports and from visual reports outside the facility that something very suspicious in the way of silos was going on. Norio and I put together the first investigative team to actually fly over these facilities and investigate them from the air with video cameras, still camera shots. It was very exciting. And on our first flyover of the Northrop facility, we spent about an hour in the air on that trip. <clears throat> it was historic. You can imagine that my heart practically jumped out of my mouth when we're flying over, and the pilot unsolicited says to me, by the way, there are three silos down there. Now, I had learned from my inside contacts that three silos had been constructed there. And I was looking for those silos the minute we appeared over the facility. I was intensely looking for three silos, didn't see any, and suddenly the pilot says to me, but I just told you. I was shocked. I tried to contain my excitement, and I pretended to be rather casual about it, and I said, I'm sorry, I, I beg your pardon, but did you say silos down there? And he says, 
Oh, yes. He says, you see those white diamonds? And sure enough, there were three white diamonds. Now, this pilot, you must understand, we rented the plane in the Antelope Valley, so he flies that area continuously. He has students. He's a pilot instructor. So he's flying over there all the time. He told me that on numerous occasions when, when he's flown over these facilities, those white diamonds, the white covering, will be gone to reveal a deep, dark hole or silo into the ground. Not only the black projects, but deep black projects program that is taking place about 10 miles south of Groom Lake. Groom Lake facility, of course, is a black projects program uh, that that is technologically speaking not uh, in line with higher technolo technology that is present uh, 10 miles south which is located on Papoos Lake facility. That is where a new type of propulsion system is being test flown and again it's my contention that some select U.S. pilots have uh, been given instructions on maneuvering these objects. Uh, we have, from all types of reports and sources, uh, this established this one fact, is that there is some type of uh, pumpkin seed program. This is a, a nickname of a new type of propulsion system using pulse detonation uh, system. And this is known as the pumpkin seed program because these objects are, they have uh, almost like a diamond shaped uh, the form to this. Now, this is part of the Black Project program. However, what I've been investigating is more than that. It's the Super Deep Black Projects Program, which could possibly involve technology much higher than this type of pulse propulsion system, uh, which could be antimatter or some type of anti-matter, uh, as Mr. Lazar has been stating. The sources of our information are not only from uh, researchers that have received a lot of infos through aerospace connection. Uh, the, we have been in touch with several persons that confirm that Black Project program is ongoing at Groom Lake facility, uh, Papoose Lake facility, plus other facilities such as in California. The Northrop, uh, McDonnell Douglas and Lockheed all of these facilities are conducting some type of uh, testing of certain type of aeroforms that resemble almost uh, a disc. And it's possible, very possible, that the technology behind this could be uh, received by from some uh, intelligence. Not necessarily uh, us. In other words, we're talking about something uh, possible, transfer of 